Oh, that's a weird looking book. What is that? I'm going to go read it. Hello, I am Oxford's first slate professor of fine art. My father is an art collector. You are in luck, for you have found my diary, which was planned to be a defense of the painter J.M.W. Turner. However, it expanded to become a general survey of art. I have lived a full life. I have traveled widely. I have been given a huge chance of experiencing nature and all its beauty, and that is why I call for seven moral categories that are vital to architecture and, more importantly, our daily lives, which are sacrifice, truth, power, beauty, life, memory, and obedience. However, nobody believes in such things nowadays. If you who is reading this is a lover of beauty and art, may you help me revive these seven morals. For I, Joan Ruskin, hereby tell you that... Nature is painting for us, day after day. Picture of infinite beauty, if only we have the eyes to see them. For over centuries, I have lived in secret, hiding in the shadows, alone in the world. Until now, I am a lover of art, but also, I am a vampire. And this is my story. I'd like you to meet my new friend, John. Um, it's a pleasure meeting you. You don't seem from around here. You're not, though, are you? I actually am. I've been here long ago. However, I've been traveling around. Oh, um, that's really cool. Hey, Elena, I gotta run. See you later. Okay, William. Your dinner will be in the oven. Bye, sis. Gustav, his brother. That's such an old name. I'm <laughs> sorry. He didn't tell me he had a brother. Well, John isn't one to brag, really. Elena, what are you doing here? She came looking for you, and I was just telling her about our history. John, are you okay? You seem upset. I'm fine, Elena. I'll see you later, okay? Hmm. Okay? Well, that's not very nice of you, brother. Tell me you haven't spoken to her about your industrial deeds. You can't have told her about your dehumanizing acts. Can't promise you that, brother. William, did you know John had a brother? 
um, do you mean Gustav? How am I the only one who doesn't know? Elena, you have to stay away from him. He goes against our principles. What do you mean? Well, for one, he's one of those industrial dorks. But secondly, he's also a vampire. Did John not tell you about all of this? Did he not tell you what they are? What? John? But today, I'll give you a summary about the opponents of Art Nouveau. One of them is actually my brother, Gustav Eiffel. Gustav spent his early childhood with his mother and failed his examinations at Polytechnic, so he chose to enter the École Centrale de Paris, from which he graduated to be a civil engineer and an entrepreneur of the 19th century. He made his career building ironworks, which was an innovative material at the time. But if you look at his buildings and other buildings from iron, they lack one common thing, which is art, and that's why we also lack it in our daily lives. Two of his main works are the Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty. However, he wasn't the one who designed the Eiffel Tower, it was a Sylvestre. He also designed many bridges, such as Maria Pia Bridge and a Garabi Viaduct. From my opinion, however, the Eiffel Tower is a black gigantic factory chimney. These architects have intentionally increased inhuman working conditions. They deteriorated urban environments by building factories within cities. They have impacted construction systems. They used steel, RC, elevators and escalators, as well as glass. They ruined the beauty of architecture and took a completely different direction from Art Nouveau. We must put an end to the anti-art architects those who educate graduates to become workmen for employers with no actual mobility in artistic education. I also want to tell you about the features of Art Nouveau. First, Art Nouveau is a holistic style, meaning that it is included in everything in our daily lives. It uses highly stylized organic forms, embraces seaweed, grasses and insects, and uses Japanese motifs as well. I hope this lecture inspired you to think of possible ways to revive art and architecture. Thank you, students. You have to tell me about your works, and please tell me about the originals that you mentioned in your diaries. William, are you not afraid of me? No, I am not. I fully trust you, for you are a lover of nature and art. Well, Rocks and Ferns is the most popular of my works, and it is also published in the Abbott Hall Art Gallery. It is highly colored. Its foreground is transformed into concentrated and enclosed composition while the background and edges of the picture are covered with washes of watercolor. I used ink to define the contours of the rocks. I highlighted on the details by leaving areas in reserve. You have no idea how much your work truly inspires me. I can't wait for us to bring back art into our lives. Elena, I've been calling you all day. Why aren't you picking up? Is everything all right? What are you? What? Oh, you know? How many of you were there? Elena, don't be scared. We're the good ones. Gustav isn't, but there are five original vampires. What? Who are they? They are the oldest vampires of history. They are the pioneers of enlightenment, and they are the people who are after the spread of Art Nouveau. And how am I supposed to believe you? You have to believe me, because I'm helping your brother end this industrial and modern mess with the help of the originals. 
Oh, thank God. Dear John Ruskin, it is my honor to invite you to my art museum, opening tonight at 9 p.m. Please be there. Love, William Morris. accepted my invitation to come see my work. Thank you for inviting me. You have made me very proud. So, fill me in on the events that happened in the past 20 years of your life. Well, I studied in Marlborough College and I met Edward Byrne Jones, who was engaged in similar pursuits. Byrne is my best friend till now. I became a member of the aesthetic circle that idealized art and was influenced by poems. And what do people think of your work? Well, some people say that I'm a pious boar, and some others say that I'm the father of floral wallpapers. Some also say that my work is politically nebulous. It's a good thing to have people that criticize you in order to learn, but what made you invite me? I have failed to convince people that we need art and only art. Some people are still supporting anti-art designers. I can help you with that. Let's hold a meeting by tomorrow in the woods. I have a few friends who can help us. And by tomorrow night, we'll end them. Wait till I show you my works. This is Strawberry Thief. The story behind this is actually very funny. I was once going into the kitchen of my home in the countryside and I found thrushes stealing fruit from it. Can you guess what the material used is? Not really. What is it made of? Surprisingly, I made it from cotton. Wow. My second piece is Night Angel holding a waning moon. I used watercolor and ink. I also used pastel color. Well, this is ugly. Gustav, what the hell brings you here? I did not send you an invitation. <laughs> Excuse you. Hello, brother. Please, ignore my brother. Well, let's talk somewhere else. Hello, Alphonse. So we meet again? So what do we owe this pleasure, Raskin? We're having trouble and no one but you can help us. We've been trying to revive art and erase all anti-art people for years, but we have failed. Are you willing to help us? I give you my word, we'll compel Gustav, but we also need the sirens with us. We need to lure Gustav and his people to us first, by the help of the sirens. Hey, Raskin, what is compulsion? And who the hell are the sirens? The original vampires can order younger vampires and control all of their actions. The sirens, however, they are young women that are loyal to Alphonse Mucha. They have flowy hair and robes, and have magical voices that draw people to them. Oh my god. Can you reach the sirens right now? Mucha is on it. Come seek us where our voices sound We cannot sing above the ground And now along you'll have to look To recover what we took
What the hell is going on? Ruskin? Is that you? How the hell did I get here? Gustav, you've taken the wrong direction. You have disappointed us. <laughs> is this some sort of intervention? Gustav, this is serious. As of today, today you seek art and only art. art. As, of As of today, you return to nature. As of today, As of today you destroy, you destroy your, your ugly work. As of today, As of today you, return you return to your roots. You will not, you will remember. not remember. You will, you will only do as we say.